Hey there, welcome to the Healthy Vibes Podcast. I am Kelly Renato, your host, a mom of two, and a fitness and health enthusiast and encourager. I'm on a mission to help moms feel good about themselves, find time for themselves, and get their strength back so that every single day they can show up how they want to. I know what it's like to feel overwhelmed, unhealthy as a mom, anxious, worn out, and never enough. That is why I want to share with you every single week simple choices that have helped me to feel more confident and content. Each week I'll bring you a short dose of inspiration for you and your family, empowering you to show up for yourself, love who you are, and encouraging you to become more intentional every day with your choices so that you can feel stronger, more confident, and fulfilled. Are you ready to truly love who you are? Get out of that rat race, know that you're enough, and follow the path that you want to, it's time to nurture your mind, body, and soul. You get to make this choice every single day, and I want to help you. Let's start today. You ready? Here we go. Hey there, welcome to the Healthy Vibes Podcast. I am so glad you're here with me today for a little bit of encouragement. Today, I want to encourage you in this week when something's going on, whatever the situation, whatever has happened, whatever you're feeling, whatever you don't know what to do about, what choice to make, what decision to make, I want you to pause and just think, have I prayed about it? And sometimes I know the obvious is, well, of course I have, or yes, I did. And, but have you really? Because I know I go through the day and Maybe you get up in the morning and pray before you start your day. Maybe as you walk into the day or as you're driving into work, you pray. You know, we all, you know, pray throughout the day, you know, say something to God. But when you're really stressed, when you really have something weighing on your mind, a lot of times we go to worry, we go to stress, we go to complaining. Um, Maybe we react the wrong way. We lash out at someone. We're you know, trying to blame someone. And all these are things that are going on in our head, even if we know this isn't the direction we want to go to. But I think when you get in the nitty gritty of the day, life, your work, um, whatever it is going on around you, which, you know, I know we feel things we all do from all different directions, whether it's our family, our spouse, our kids, our job, our school, you know, whatever whatever we're feeling, it becomes stress and worry. And the goal is to try to, I know when I tell people, you know, you, you can choose stress or you can not choose stress. It really is true. And this is when whatever you're feeling today, when you start feeling that overwhelmingness, um, the worry about something, fear takes over, what do I do? I want you to pause and truly begin having a conversation with God, whether it's a a quick 30 second at your desk, it's a quick conversation before you get on a hard phone call, or whether you have the time to sit in, you know, five minutes and pray to God about what you're feeling, ask, have a conversation with him about what you should do what's bothering you, what's on your mind. You know, maybe you can take time and walk outside and and spend a few minutes having a, an actual conversation, quiet time with God. Because sometimes we have that conversation that whatever it is that's weighing on us, we can't find someone to go to. Maybe it's something you know your spouse doesn't have time for right now or your significant other or your friend or maybe it's something you know they're going to have an opinion or a judgment on that you that's not what you want to hear right now maybe it's something about your kids and you just don't want to tell anyone else what you're feeling or what what fear you have or what you're thinking cuz you don't want to hear again you don't want to be vulnerable to, vulnerable to them about your kids or about your spouse or about someone in your family. Like a lot of times we want to protect those people we love, even though we are feeling stress or frustration with them or, you know, whatever it is we're feeling with them. And we, we don't feel comfortable opening up to just anyone. 
Sometimes you can have many people in your life that you love and trust and care about, but at the same time, whatever it is you're weighing on you, you don't feel comfortable opening up to them about this. And we probably even know that sometimes we're that person with someone and we know that they're probably not going to come to us about that. So maybe you can relate to this. I'm guessing you probably can. Um, And this is when you go to God. This is when you have a conversation with God and he's going to help, I promise you, Take that heaviness off of you. He's going to help you kind of talk through what you're feeling. And without jumping to fear, he helps you get to a place of knowing that you're doing all you can and praying about it and giving it to him is what you should have done, you know, already. And this is how we how we actually use our faith day to day. We say we have faith, we say we believe in God, and then we hold on to all these things all day that are worrying us, our kids, um, things that we can't control. Or, you know, making sure we control the things we can and then let God have it after that. So when it comes to my kids and something's weighing on me or something has scared me, I, I go to God and pray about it, and usually I feel a heaviness come off me. I do. But then I find more clarity in, have I had the conversation I need to have with them about what I'm worrying about? Have I taken all the steps to try to teach them what I should teach them before I let them out in the world, give them guidance? Have I tackled the hard conversation rather than just ignoring it? Have I actually truly parented rather than giving in to the easy and saying, uh, well, they'll be okay, you know, I'll just, I'll say yes because it's easier right now than dealing with it. No, I want to truly parent. And then yes, there does come a point that I have to let it go. I have to let God watch out for them. I have to let my son get in the car and drive to the place he's asked me that he could drive. I've got to let my daughter go to the thing with her friend that she's asked me to. And yes, sometimes it's a no because they're only 10 years old or 12 or 13, not 17 or whatever it is. Sometimes it's a no and I have to have God help guide me into how to talk through this to my kid and explain to them why. And yes, there's going to be disappointment. And then I pray to God to help both of us get through that and grow through it and learn through it because it can't always be a yes. But then there does come a point that, you know, I have a 13 and 17 year old. So now there are things that I have, I don't have to, but I want to start saying yes to, even though I have a lot of fear surrounding it. So I say yes. And then I tell myself it's time to have the hard conversations with them to teach them why I'm going to say yes, but how, what's their responsible now their responsibility now and how can they communicate with me better, be honest with me, be transparent and go out in the world and be respectful and responsible and make good choices. So at the end of the day, yes, let's go to God and pray about what is on our mind when we feel like there's no one that we feel comfortable talking to because you always have him. But also let us do what we can do in our life to not just let it go, but, you know, have those hard conversations with the people that we're feeling the fear with or the stress with or the the hardship with or the struggle with. And if you're at a point where you feel like you have no one to talk to, go to God, pray about it today. Pray about whatever it is that's on your mind, that's stressing you, that's worrying you, that you have a fear around. You can always have that conversation with God. And I find when I hit that wall of who do I talk to now, and I think it's it's common to feel like you don't have someone to go to, even when you have a lot of people in your life that you care about and love and trust. But the conversation is one that you just don't know who to have it with. 
So pray about it. And if it's something going on in your life that you're worrying, you're stressed, you don't know what to do, go to God. Stop and pray about it. It can be in the middle of your lunch. It can be when you're driving down the road. It can be when you're hanging out with a group of people. If you need to pause and pray, do that. You can do that without making everyone even know. God is always there listening, always there. And then when you begin to pray, how are you praying? Think about that. Are you just saying, please fix this, God? Please help me, God? And you can pray that way, absolutely. But also pray to maybe change your heart if that's needed or renew your mind or help you to see this in a different way if you need to or help you be open to allowing your kids to do more or open to seeing this in a new perspective or being understanding to the person that's frustrating you, helping you learn from the situation, helping to, um, you know, give you spiritual growth, bring you closer to God, change your heart, give you more gentleness, more patience, more self-control, more goodness. You know, what is it that you need to see more of right now in this situation? And ask God to help you see that, not only to help you get through it and help, you know, just to get you to the other side and protect you in the process or protect your kids, but help you to grow, help your kids to grow and become more responsible in their faith. So don't only pray for help, but pray for growth. Pray for you to grow, your kids to grow, the people around you to grow, to be more mature in our choices to understand the consequences more, and just to learn more through the process. So whatever it is you go through today and this week, I want you to pause when you start feeling stress or you don't know what to do, what choice to make, you're feeling uncertain, you're feeling fear, whatever it is, you don't know who to go to, I want you to pray about it. Pause and pray about it, no matter what time of day it is. And And just keep asking yourself, have I prayed about this? Because as much as I pray, and you pray probably too, sometimes that's not where I go to. I, I get caught up in the stress and the fear and the worry and even the complaining. But I'm trying to pause when I start feeling that and shift and not choose the stress, not choose the worry, not choose the fear, not choose the complaining. And just like anything else, These are habits, and you can consistently begin to choose something different. And you'd be surprised when stress comes upon you and you choose something different, you don't have to choose the stress, the worry, the fear. It is possible. It doesn't mean it's not going to resurface every day, many times each day, but let us begin to choose something different. So for this week, I hope I give you some, I've given you something to think about a little bit different or just a pause in that simple moment and pray about it. So I'm wishing you a good day. Thank you for being here. Um, if you're not on my email list, go to kellyrenato.com and join. I have lots of projects going on and things coming up and I'd love for you to hear about it. And I give encouragement each week through that, through my email list as well. So, um, Please join me there and I wish you the best day. And if you got something from this, please just forward it to a friend. And I would love to hear what you think of the podcast. Reach out to me, give me a review and help me to spread the word. Thanks so much and have a great day. I appreciate you sharing this time with me today. I am grateful you are here. And if you have anyone that you feel could also benefit from this encouragement, please share it with them today. You can also add a quick review on iTunes, which would mean the world to me and help me just to make this better for each and every one of you out there. I will be here each week, so please be sure to subscribe to the podcast or join me at kellyrenato.com to get the latest episode and more tools to help you on your journey to feel your best and enjoy every single day exactly where you are. I would love to have you join my journey and let's all add good, healthy vibes anywhere we can every single day. Enjoy your week and embrace the season you're in 
and I look forward to next week. Take care. Bye-bye.